guys, welcome back to Homeschool Chickens. Today I wanted to talk about winterizing your coop of your backyard chickens and what that looks like. There's a lot of things you need and a lot of things you probably don't need. Um, so we're in Kansas and the last couple days the temperatures dropped into the 20s at night. So here's a few things that I've done with my chickens to help winterize their coop. Silkies are small chickens, so I have a very small coop because we're in the city and we have um, restrictions as well as a, a smaller backyard. So I just have a very small coop. One of the things you need to make sure is that they have somewhere to go to get out of the wind. So as you can see, this part right here is their coop where they go at night. And then during the day, my girls are free ranging in the backyard. And today it got up into the 40s and the sun came out, so they're fine to come out. But on days where it stays in the teens or 20s or it's windy or rainy, they need somewhere they can be safe. So I put, again, we're in the city. I put hay bales around the bottom of their run and they just have a small path in and that keeps them safe from the wind um, so that they have a dry, windless place to go. So making sure that they have somewhere safe they can get to is number one. Another thing you're going to need is some sort of bedding. So these are my girls' nesting boxes right here. There's one girl in there right now. I have um, pine shavings and cedar shavings in there to keep them insulated and warm. And then again, I put these hay bales all around to help with insulation. Um, silkies tend to puddle. They don't roost on bars. So all of my girls tend to get in one of these boxes at night and huddle up together. That's another way that they make sure they keep warm is by puddling or going together. Another thing you're gonna make sure you have is some sort of ventilation. So I have this window here. Um, it's really hard when it gets really cold to keep that window open, but it's very important. So as the chicken breathes out, that expiratory breath has moisture in it. And that moisture will, if it doesn't have a way out of the coop, it will freeze in the air and that will kill your chickens. So you need to make sure you have some sort of ventilation. Um, it is best if it is above wherever the girls are roosting. So there's my roosting bars down there and the window is above where they roost. Uh, my girls don't go high to roost. If you have chickens that climb up high, make sure their ventilation is above wherever they're roosting so that they don't, so that they don't get that cross breeze. Another thing that you're gonna wanna have is some sort of um, way to make sure your water doesn't freeze. Um, so I have what's called a, a heater, a water heater. And it's this little plate, it goes underneath their waterer right down there. And it just ensures that their water doesn't freeze. Another thing a lot of people utilize is either heating lamps or heating plates. However, as long as you have multiple chickens, it's not just one or two chickens so that they can roost together or puddle together for their body heat. Um, and unless the temperatures are getting below zero, that really isn't necessary. Um, if you do choose to do that, you need to be careful of two things. One, if the power goes out and they lose that heat, it'll be a shock to their system and they can die. So make sure you have a generator. Um, you also need to be very careful of fires. A lot of people end up with fires in their coops and lose their whole flocks that way. So be very careful if you choose to utilize a heating plate or a heating lamp. But as long as you make sure they have ventilation, they can, they're dry and they have somewhere that can go out of the wind in some sort of insulation um, and that their water can't freeze, then your girls should be perfectly fine well into the teens and below this winter. Thanks for visiting Homeschool Chickens.